everybody, it's Allie Edwards and welcome back to December Daily for 2022. I am finally back. I'm finally back. I finished up my holiday celebrations, I finished up my lounging around, and now I'm back at it. So I've got five more stories to tell in my album for 2022, and I'm actually, I think I'm gonna do two uh, in this particular video. So I'm gonna do 20, story 21 and story 22, uh, and I'll show you why, partly why I'm gonna do that. So one of the things that I've been wanting to do or had been planning to do was to do a story just about our tree this year. This is a uh, fake tree. It's a tree that I bought actually last year um, and I love it because it's more open so it's kind of like the trees that we used to get when I was a kid the real trees that I used to get when I was a kid and I like that you can see more ornaments on it so I had a story to tell about our tree this year and that it was a, it's a little bit different than past trees and this is kind of what I detailed in my journaling I didn't take out all my Christmas stuff this year I actually have all of the tubs still here in my office um, it was one of those years where I just took a little bit out and I was really happy and satisfied with the little bit that I did uh, take out and so I talk about that in my story here as well um, this year also I didn't put any kids ornaments on the tree and not a single kid even asked where are my ornaments or we put it when are we putting our ornaments up or, or that sort of thing and so what I did this year is I just went into ornament tubs that I have that have like what I would consider generic ornaments meaning they don't belong to anyone or no one you know it's not anyone's special ornaments that they've been given as a gift but we have a lot of fun ones in there that I hadn't seen for a while and so that's what I ended up doing on this tree so it had um, repeated thing repeated ornaments on it so it had repeated like gold uh, glitter balls and um, I have a random little collection of uh, like fluffy um, or soft bird uh, ornaments that are on there. There's also a bunch of apples. There's also um, like these balls that have uh, fabric or not fabric but ribbon around them just some ones that I've had for a long time that I it, that I really liked so part of this was also because I wanted to have things on the bottom of the tree and not all the way to the very bottom for the cats and or Betty who is our seven month old eight month old lab and wasn't sure exactly how what was gonna happen Betty didn't touch the tree at all she was not the dog didn't care. The cats this time were more, one of our cats was more into the tree uh, this year than in the past we've had it in a different spot. And so those are a few different things that I was kind of detailing here. I just mainly wanted a big full page photo of that. You can see we have a giant TV. We like TV, that's a giant TV in our living room there. And so what I decided to do for the actual construction of this page is I've typed up my journaling and I sized it because I want it to fit I don't want it to take over all of the, um, let's see, let's just move this out of the way. I don't want it to take over all of the transparent part of this. This was from the three by eight transparency set and I'll show you, let's talk a little bit about what I'm gonna do. What I'm thinking of that I wanna do is I'm gonna actually cut off the holes of this and I wanna have it be along the edge and I think I'm gonna stitch it uh, on there with my machine. So I'm gonna take the holes off but what I'm thinking I can do is I can have journaling on one side that will be related to the tree. And on the back, I have this picture of Aaron with our Christmas cards that I think I can make work on here, even if I trim those holes off. So it's just going to kind of be a little portion of him. And then I talked about our Christmas card this year, and that's what's in the journaling here. So this can go on the back of here. The photo can be on the back of this guy, and then I can just put in our card as a page in the album, which is something that I often do. This year I didn't add anything on the back of our Christmas card, so that could actually be space for a story, so I might put a photo there or um, as it moves into the next story. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to work, like I said, on a combination of stories 21 and 22 and take you along with me. This is Ernie. He's saying hi. Hi, Ernie. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, you're all wet. All right, so step one here is simply just to trim out my journaling. Remember, this is for two days or two stories. This is both story 21 and story 22. 
And just a reminder that the the uh, sizing of that was two and a quarter by six and a half. That's what I ended up doing for my journaling there that is going to be adhered uh, front and back on that three by eight transparency. I always love that we, we do a whole set of three by eight transparencies and journal cards each year. And they're always, I, sh I love how they look, you know, even working in a bigger album, I think that they are really fun to incorporate, whether you're doing a three by eight size a four by eight, a six by eight, a 10 by eight, like all the different sizes there. And it's fun to build on top of them, which is what I'm ending up doing here by connecting the tree to that three by eight transparency. So you can see what I did. I ended up trimming off along the edge of my photo in order to add on my, um, to, in order to cut out the different pieces of the tree here. I'm doing a combination of scissors cutting as well as I'll be bringing out my X-Acto knife here in a minute. I really liked that I had that this photo worked on the back of this tree too. Like not every photo is going to work on the back of the tree just based on the the unique shape of it. Uh, but this worked well having a vertical shot for this one in particular, where it's still showing what I'm talking about in the journaling as well as um, being able to be a fun shape there. So I really like how that one turned out. I did add on a little bit of red line tape. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you could easily do a uh, thin red line tape there. That's about the one fourth inch tape. And then I'm going to be taking this over to my sewing machine after I temporarily or partially adhere that tree on top. Okay, so that worked out just how I hoped it would. So cute. Okay, so now I can go ahead and add on my journaling that's going to just get adhered back to back on here. So let's take do this one first. I did leave space at the top of this journaling block. Um, I just measured it and it's about, let's see, I made mine two and a quarter by six and a half, so that I can just kind of place it in the middle here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I still wanted it to be see-through around the outside edges there. So I'm going to add some sort of little embellishment title, something there. I think I'll probably put the, the date number over here. This is again going to go with this page and I, I like when I can have the photos where they don't have to have anything else on top of them too and then this will be 21 on the back or excuse me 22 with the card in here so let's go ahead and finish that up I don't think I've ever just done two text blocks like this on top of one of these transparencies before. And I know that I noted earlier, I'm pretty sure that I wanted to keep some of the peekaboo quality um, still happening there. So that's why I sized it smaller to fit inside that window. I'm also adding on another one of the canvas phrases or the canvas strips that you've seen me use throughout the album this year. I love how this ended up being a kind of a consistent embellishment that pops up uh, throughout my project uh, this year in, in 2022, just adding a little bit of red line tape to adhere that to the top. Any sort of embellishment could go on there, right? And depending on if you wanted to leave a little bit more space for a bigger embellishment, you could totally do that as well. I'm keeping this one pretty simple. I'm going to add on the 21. You know, for me at this point in the process, I'm usually just at the point where I'm like, let's, I want to wrap this up, right? I still want to have my stories and photos reflected here, and I still want it to come together um, in a nice finished way. But I'm also not necessarily as excited about the crafty parts of it. And so that's part of the uh, rhythm that happens with this project for me. But you might be in an entirely different place right now. You might be in that phase of like, you're ready. This is now is your time to do all the fun, crafty goodness. And I just want to really honor that if that's where you are at right now, or maybe you're watching this video at some other completely random time of the year because you're working on this project. My hope for you is that you have as much fun as you are wanting to have uh, related to this project. Um, still fun for me. It's also fun at this time of year for me wrapping it up. Like I'm always excited. I feel like it is the, the way that I close out my year. Um, one of the traditions that I have for closing out my year is wrapping up this project, usually along with wrapping up uh, one little word and getting ready for the new year in that project as well. So I'm doing a variety of cleanup things here in my office to kind of get myself um, 
to feel more complete with 2022 and be ready to move into 2023. So that tends to infuse a variety of memory keeping projects. So here you can just see that I'm using a little bit of washi tape. I decided that because I didn't want to trim off any more of the other side with the tags from our, from our fun evening adventure, I went ahead and I'm just adding a little bit of washi tape from my stash. This is one I've had for a number of years now, added it on there. And then I had just a little bit um, of the other side side to trim off. That's all I'm going to be adding on to the photo page here and just keeping the rest of my embellishments or any of the additional embellishing is going on that other side page there. So then turning it over for my for story 22, you can see that it is simply the back of the photo there or the 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 back of the <laughs> the back of the tree which has the photo on top of it and then my story and then I'm pull punching my Christmas card which just is going to be added in as a another page there. Uh, and then I think I'm probably going to add a photo onto the back of my Christmas card there as I move into the next story in my project. Three more stories to go, story 23, 24, and 25. I'll be uh, continuing to work on those here over the next few days and then sharing them as we go along. I did grab out another one of those sticker tabs. I've used almost all of those in my project this year. That was another one of those things that I just continued to come back to. So I'm going to add that in uh, along the outside edge of the tree and I'm going to use the tiny attacher to staple that in place there. I'm going to kind of come in. I think this is my tiny attacher that was out of staples that I need to uh, redo. Someone was laughing earlier in the season because I have my second tiny attacher always ready to go. Uh, definitely something that I use over and over again. On the back here I was thinking about what you know what little embellishments did I want to add on. I wanted something uh, along the top there as as well as um, maybe adding on one more small embellishment. So I decided to just take the uh, numbers from the main kit, the gold numbers, and add those on top there for uh, story 22. And then I'm going to add another one of those plastic stars that I added a few days ago or a few stories ago. Uh, just one other one that could fit right above uh, Aaron in the photo. I'm definitely looking at my stash of stuff and feeling like I need some uh, additional stars for next year, like in kind of in that same size size as that plastic one right there, but maybe not necessarily with as much dimension. So that's on my mind as I am uh, wrapping up things for this year. As always, if you guys have questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be back soon uh, with the last few stories.